But check this out, you watching Royal Media ENT. In the building, Fat Boy Beats. Yo. What's up, baby? Alright, doing, doing good, doing good. How you doing? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. I'm so glad to meet you, finally. Likewise. That song that I played earlier um, on Jay the intro. Bell, tilapia. Yeah, yeah, that's your beat, right? Yes. Okay, so talk about a little bit about yourself. Let, let the audience who may have been under a rock for a while or on a little tiny <laughs> island who may not know who you are, tell them who you are. Well, it's your boy Fat Boy Beast, aka Mr. Get Your Single Done the Right Way, aka Stop Playing Around in the Little Studios and Come On Down and Get You a Nice Banger for the Streets, <laughs> then to the Radio. You know how I go. That's the idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause you know you you you're a super producer. You know. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know you. I'm I'm very modest, you know what I mean. Yeah. When it comes out of stuff like that, I just I just do me. I just enjoy doing music, and you know. But I appreciate that you give me that type. A yeah. lot of people, other people say the same thing. You are. I mean, it's obvious, and we're gonna talk about it in a few minutes. Um, just ignore it. Mm -hmm. That that's just a countdown. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go, you know, until we get it done. Um. Uh, a, a lot of people don't understand what it is to be um, a producer in and of itself. And mm -hmm. you being labeled a super producer, that's what I want to get into. I want to, you know, because the show is to help indie artists mm -hmm. or um, unsigned artists or anyone who's out there, models, actors, whatever it is that you do in the entertainment business mm -hmm. and you want to get yourself seen and heard, that's what this show is for. And it's dedicated to the troops so that they can tune in and have a little bit of entertainment wherever they are um, and, and see what's going on back home, you know, and know that we're still caring about them, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, back to the super producer um, label that you have. Uh, uh, and the song, the, the song Tilapia, that, that does, you know, mm -hmm. and we're going to play uh, a couple more of your songs as well. Um, but let me ask you, you said nine years old, you were creating beats, with yeah. beatbox with your mouth, right? Yeah, I, was, I wasn't too good at it. <laughs> okay. I wasn't too good at beatboxing, but, you know, it's the ambition, you know, to want to strive to do better. But that was, like, my first, like, go at it was doing the beatboxing because, you know, I couldn't afford a, a, a $1,200 dollar <laughs> piece of equipment yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so you did what you had to do mm -hmm. and um you found the love of it at, at that early of an age i mean yeah. how do you know that how did you know at that age that that that's or did you know at that age that you would grow up to be well that's music? i tried i tried other things mm -hmm. i tried playing football you know I tried playing a little basketball. Um, I did the academic thing, and every time I venture out mm -hmm. outside of music, it always called me back. Mm -hmm. It always called me back. It always called me back. It always called me back. So it was like it was it was calling me. You know. Yeah. What I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things happen for a reason, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a very strong believer in that. Um. Okay. So. You're not a name dropper, but I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it for you. <laughs> I'm Rick Ross. Okay. Mm. I call you up uh -huh. and tell you I want to be. Uh -huh. What you gonna do? I mean, what what do you do? Well, you know, set up some studio time, go in the studio and bang it out. Or you know, a lot of art, like a lot of big major artists like that, <clears throat> they like to work through the email. Okay. You know, because they're here, they're there, they have to do shows, interviews, everything like that. So I basically send them, like, email them some tracks if he's out of town or whatever. But if he's here, you know, so I do the studio and we get it. Okay. Do you have, like, um, a file over here, Ross Beats, uh, <laughs> Briscoe, you know, do you have, because you know their styles, you know what they like. Yeah. But do you do it that way or? No, I don't do it that way. How I do my beats, I do it by numbers. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, I make a beat and I just give it a number, like numeric, you understand? So mm -hmm. basically it's like, I'm up to like 500 and something right now and I just keep going. And I don't really label them 
like okay this cat I don't really categorize my beats and the reason why I don't do that is because I learned that if you pick like let's say five six beats you think oh man raw so J Dub or Ultra Smooth, like they, they gonna kill these beats. These, these, this the beats for them. And you go and you play them for them, they're like, nah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you'll just be playing some more beats just going through and they'll be like, no, no, stop right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one right there. Oh yeah, I need that. And you'll be like, You sure? <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's not even done yet. Like, I don't Nah, it's good, just like that. So yeah. that's why I stopped categorizing because you just never know. Yeah. Then that's when I'd be surprised. But I just go with the flow. You're so cute. <laughs> and you are. You're, you're humble, like you said. Um, you know, but the first thing you when I spoke to you, you were like, you know that that song, Pull Out the Stick, mm -hmm. and like it's like nothing. And yeah. I'm like, dude, yeah. I know it. <laughs> what, it that's you? You know what I'm saying? You, you know, yeah. so um you know congratulations on your talent you Thank know you. um it's good to see uh young people and and all the guests that are on the show lately are so young and talented you know and i'm like don't sleep on these people stop sleeping on them because it's it's if, if all this is happening here right around me imagine the rest of the nation yeah. you know the talent that's out there you know so mm -hmm. and are able to put something out you know, produce it, mm -hmm. whether it's music production, you know, an artist, you know, a, a fashion designer, whatever it is, mm -hmm. if you can bring it to life, I'm just so impressed with that. You know, I Thank love you. that. I love it. Um, who, who are some of the other artists that you've uh, produced um, music for? Oh, um, that's why I took a little... Um, J Dub, you know Rick Ross. Um, J Dub is with CT. I'm currently working with him right now. We're gonna um, we coming out with a mixtape. Okay. By the end of next month, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be like a collaboration just with me and him. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing the whole thing, and um, just a whole bunch of people. Briscoe, um, pretty much everybody who doing something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Locally too, you know what I mean. Yeah. Young kids, mm -hmm. you know. So um, basically Bye, just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your music, where can we? Oh, you can find what? it on iTunes, um, com, datcrack.com, live mixtapes. It's all over. Wherever you get music from, just search Fat Boy Beats. Pretty easy. <laughs> Fat, P H A T. Yeah, B O Y B E A T S, not F A T. No. No. Shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> The Crib Entertainment, that's the label that I'm creating right now. As I said, I have the two artists, which is El Tech Tech, which is on the pop side, and then we have Vulture School, which is on the hardcore hip-hop rap side. Let me play Vulture's um, song real quick. Okay. It's called um, Richie Porter. Richie Porter. Featuring E. Dat from e. MGT. Made the song, Let's Go Get Him. With iceberg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, faulty smooth, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh,
the cervix. So okay. that's what makes them dry and hard, you know. Yeah. Almost lose them. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so, yeah, that's what makes me go hard. That'll change your life, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, the good thing she pulled through. Yeah. She's all right now. And she's doing good now? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, good. Blessings to her. Yeah, thank and you. And you and your fam. Um, who would you like to send shout outs to? Look at them, tell them. I like to send shout out to everybody that's watching this right now. I like to send shout out to someone for inviting me to come through. You know what I mean? I like to take a big, big shout out to Royal Media for holding the crib entertainment down since day one. Um, I just like to take a shout out to J Dub. You know, that's like my bro, bro right there. Um, just everybody, man. The crib, hold the crib entertainment, whole family, staff, both the smooth, I'll take the tech. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. You know what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you usually can't um, sure, remember everybody, everybody you know. So, <laughs> oh, and all the fans. Everybody, every DJ, that as soon as they hear that boy beat, they press play. <laughs> shout out to every fan that just downloaded all the music. Just shout out to everybody. Yeah, you're welcome, no doubt. It's good to see uh, people trying to do things, positive things. Mm -hmm. And when when I say, you know, uh, positive things, the last few weeks that I've uh, had guests on, everyone's helping each other or trying to help each other, looking out for other people. So they people. say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they say. Yeah. Because they get in front of a nice big camera. Yeah. And they go to talking reckless, as I call it. You yeah. know what I mean? They trying to help and they trying to do this and they trying to do that. If you trying to help, it'll, it'll show. Yeah. Your work will, will show. Okay, exactly. who are the have you work with? What have you done? And you know, I've just been over here, but I've been helping everybody. I've been helping everybody. You've been over there doing your thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what, you know, they said at working in jail and all that, but. Yeah, we all need to be of, of, of that mindset, you know, to make sure that we Sorry. practice what we <laughs> preach, you yeah. know, yeah, practice what we preach, so. My number is on my Twitter. If you want to be for me, holler at me, and we get the business together, and we get it done, you know what I mean? I'm not going to sit up here and say, I'm going to give it to you for free, no. but that's never, you know what I mean? So, but at the end of the day, um, I'm very reachable. Yeah. Not tangible. Reachable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, a lot of people call, oh yeah man, I'm trying to get fat boy beef and da da da. And when you go to talking to numbers, oh man, I know you did all this work, but um I'm trying to work on the budget and blah blah blah. Okay, well how much you talking about? Oh da 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 come on man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, man, you're not serious. Yeah. That's another thing I've become producers. If you're paying two a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Oh, you want sound click leasing beats for seventy five dollars? You're not a real artist. Stop it right now. <laughs> Please cut it out. You know, if you look at any one of your major artists, you see none of them are leasing beats on sound click or get it together. Please, thank you. Yeah, yeah, because I want them to be able to understand the listeners, the up and coming artists, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to understand what what they're going into because some of them don't have managers that'll stand around and be annoying but some of them do but the ones who don't need to understand the lingo in the studio when they get there you know especially the young ones that are just starting they well, if may you, not if you have a good manager the manager already set up everything yeah all you have to do is come in and create mm -hmm. And leave and go color. Yeah. <laughs> go in the corner manager. Exactly. Stay out of it. Let, let, the, let the real work be get the work done. Exactly. All the managers gotta do is collect their 10%. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and make it work. Alright, and you're making it work. Bad boy beats up in the building. Yeah. On point the summer baby where it's always yes. summertime. Again, thank you for coming out. Look forward to coming to your house, your crib. <laughs> cut it out, cut it out. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> All right, even listening to and watching on the Summer Show, where it's always summertime, baby. I'm Summer Gonzalez. Tune in next Thursday, 6.30 p.m., where we'll have another special guest bringing them to your face. Mwah.